The seventh stop on the Wiesman World Cup Women's Skeleton Tour, they move to the Olympic track above Innsbruck and Eagles, Austria. Maria Orlova, sixth place at the end of the first round. She's the first of three Russian sleds. Rockets down the track, much better run in her second run than her first. And with it, she posts the fastest time and moves ahead of both of the other Russian sleds. She moves herself into medal position, but there was five sleds to go. She went by the other two Russian sleds. Now tied for third at the end of the first heat was Janine Flock of Austria. She had medaled before in Lake Placid, but she had never medaled on her home track of Eagles. Lots of Austrians on hand. And Flock comes down, losing time back to Rolova. They tie to the hundredth of a second. But Flock finds time on the bottom. She wins her first ever medal for woman skeleton from Austria on the Eagles track. Now the battle for the gold, as it's been all season. Noelle Pike is pace and Elizabeth Yarnell. Pike is pace, not good in the first run of curve nine. Here, much better. Unbelievable speed in the bottom. She blows away the field. She's got a three and a half, 3,500 second lead. But there's one sled to go. It's the World Cup leader, Elizabeth Yarnell. She's been first or second the whole season. And what does she do on the bottom? She has a perfect first run. Look at her bullet form. Look at the exit of nine. No athlete was like that in the exit of nine. With it, she blows away the field, wins by three tenths. And Elizabeth Yarnold from Great Britain moves one step closer to winning her first ever World Cup title. She celebrates with her parents. Elizabeth Yarnold, the winner, Pika's pace in second, Flock and Orlova from Austria and Russia are in the bronze medal position. Here's our World Cup standings. Yarnold is running away with it. From the Olympic track in Innsbruck, I'm John Morgan.